You should have seen she was really naive Shit, she was still only 19 And he was many years older But he's seen her walk by Hey guys, it's I Computer Nerd And today I've got another tutorial Showing you how to set up your AOL account onto Outlook Express. Uh, but before I show you that, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out the website. Uh, it's really easy to set up AOL onto Outlook. Uh, you're going to need two things your AOL account and your Outlook Express. Uh, doesn't matter which year of your Outlook Express you're, you have. Uh, I'm using XP today, so it will be an older version. Alright, the first thing you want to do is click on Tools, and you're going to find Accounts and click on it. Alright, then once you have opened up Accounts, you're going to click Add and then Mail, and it should pop up. And this is where you're going to want to type in uh, your name that you want to appear and click next and this is where you're going to type in your AOL email address make sure you have it correctly don't have any other but AOL uh, once you get here uh, where it says my incoming mail server is a blank server you're going to select IMAP then under incoming mail you're going to type imap.aol.com and then under outgoing you want to type smtp at .aol.com then click next and right here is we're going to enter your account name and password under account name it's going to be the same thing as your email address except for the at aol.com so you take at aol.com off of it and then enter the same password and you can go ahead and check remember password if you don't want to enter it every single time you log in click next then click finish and it should have it set up but we're going to change a couple of things Alright, when it's finished, double click on this, and this is where you can ch change uh, the name of the account. Uh, then click OK. Actually, we need to do one more thing. Under Servers, uh, you want to check my server requires authentication. Click Apply. Then you want to go to Advance. And where it says outgoing mail SMTP, you're going to change that number to 587. And then go to IMAP and uncheck store special folders on IMAP server. Then click apply, then click OK. And then make sure it is set as your default. If it's not, go ahead and click says default, then close. And this should come up, and this will be. It's asking you if you want to download folders like junk, inbox, and all that, like this right here. And you can go ahead and do that and click OK. And I'm going to show, make sure, show you that it works by testing it. and click inbox and there you go it did come in and if it did not work uh, just go ahead and replay the video and see what you did wrong and if you have any questions just email me not on my youtube email just on uh, my yahoo computer nerd tutorials at yahoo.com uh, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Then he looked at her like that's my queen. Cause he thought that he could mold her, but it don't work.